Directives provide a great way to render HTML dynamically as we've seen throughout the course. And as you use them, there may be times when you want to integrate animations into the mix. So in this session, we're going to talk about that and see how we could use animations along with directives like ng view to slide in views from a different direction, or maybe ng repeat as you filter, you want to fade out the items that are getting filtered out. And there's many other things you could do with this. So in this session, we're going to focus on an overview of the animation support, talk about some of the key pieces and how it works, and then we'll talk about additional ones as we move along throughout this module. A lot of the directives that are built into AngularJS provide animation support. You can even use custom directives with animations as well. There's an animate service. Now to do that, you will have to include the ng-animate module. Ng repeat and ng view and ng show and hide and the others that support animations, they don't support it out of the box with the core AngularJS script, but you can include the ng animate script and then reference the module in your app and you can add that support. Now, as you work with these different animations, you can apply them at different times. So for instance, as a view enters or leaves, you can apply an animation to that. Maybe you wanna fade it out as it leaves and slide it in as it enters. As you work with ng repeat, there's enter and leave for the data components, or maybe as things are rearranged in the collection that ng repeat's binding to, you want to apply a move animation. And there's several others that you can use as well with animations. Now here's a quick look at some of the key directives that support animations. So you have things like ng class, which is used to apply classes dynamically to a given tag. As that class changes, you could apply different animations. NG show and hide are very useful with animations because maybe as you hide something, you want to fade that out so it looks really professional and looks pretty sharp. NG include is used to include child views. And as that view is loaded, you could even apply effects or as that view leaves. NG repeat has some great animation support built in. And as you work with your different collections, you can really apply some eye popping type of effects or just do some subtle things if you want. NG Switch and NG View also support animations as well, and we'll talk about some of these throughout this module. Now, if you're going to be building custom directives, you are going to have to write a little bit of JavaScript for animations if you want that support, but the NG Animate module that we'll be talking about in a moment, it actually supports an animate service, and you can build that into your custom directive and use it if you'd like. Now, here's an example of some of the supported animations that are available with these directives. So as you change a class, there's an add and remove animation you can apply. And you'll see that we're going to be doing this with CSS, and there's a couple techniques you can employ. Same thing with ng show and hide. As you hide it, you might apply a remove animation. As you show something, you might apply an add animation. ng include and ng view both have an enter and leave as different views are loaded. And then ng repeat, not only can you apply enter and leave, but as data in a collection is changed, maybe due to a filter, you can apply a move animation and do some pretty cool things there. And then ng switch allows different data to be loaded based on different conditions, and that also has an enter and leave animation. So that's some of the key directives you can use animations with. Let's take a look at a few of these animations in action so you get an idea about what they can do.